I hope you are in the mood for a really hidden gem, a fragrance that nobody rarely talks about, that smells incredibly good and that is very affordable. I got one in stock for you, a full review of it is coming up next here on Nordic Fragrance. Hi, I'm Tommy and you're watching Nordic Fragrance, welcome. So today we are going to talk about a really hidden gem of a man's fragrance. This is Cristiano Ronaldo Legacy. Now I must admit, I'm a little skeptical to celebrity fragrances in general, and I acquired this one more or less by mistake. The story is that one of my sons, he just adores Cristiano Ronaldo, and he wanted a Dio stick with the Legacy fragrance. However, they sold it together in a pack, along with this or the toilette perfume, so I figured Okay, let's go ahead and buy it. I can keep the perfume bottle. How bad can it be? However, to my surprise, when I first smelled this fragrance, it was incredibly nice actually. Legacy certainly was one of those purchases you made where you have very low expectations and you get positively surprised by it. But much like me, I think that many people in general are a little skeptical towards celebrity fragrances. And to be fairly honest, I haven't come across many that is worth mentioning. But this one is an exception. Cristiano Ronaldo Legacy is really a good, strong fragrance. So let me tell you more about this fragrance, but first let's take a closer look at the bottle. Okay, so this bottle is nothing special really. It says Cristiano Ronaldo Legacy on the front. It has some gold patterns on the sides here, and also the cap is some kind of gold pattern. It says CR. Cristiano Ronaldo on the top of the cap. This uh, bottle really doesn't uh, suggest that it is a really great perfume inside of it. There's really nothing special about the bottle and the presentation here. Let's take a look at the sprayer. The sprayer is very smooth, very nice sprayer actually. That's the best quality of this presentation and this bottle is the sprayer itself. Other than that, it doesn't look much to the world, to be honest. Cristiano Ronaldo Legacy comes in the sizes 30, 50 and 100 ml in its eau de toilette concentration. So let's dive into the fragrance itself. What does this smell like? Well, firstly you get a floral note to it when you spray it. And when you watch the scent notes online, you can see that there are several flowers in this one. And I was a little afraid, to be honest, that this would be a feminine leaning smell, but it certainly is not. It's surprisingly masculine. The floral notes in this one mainly gives it a freshness to it, but there's also a distinct masculinity to it. The floral notes in Legacy is mainly rosemary, lavender and violet, but none of them really sticks out. They are very well blended together and they give the composition more of a fresh touch than a feminine touch, if you will. In the base there is a lot of cedar wood, which gives the distinct masculinity to this fragrance. Overall I must say that it's really a pleasant fragrance to smell this one. It's not very strong, it's a subtle masculine fresh fragrance is what I would call it. I do really enjoy this one, and I have never been so positively surprised by a blind buy as I was with Cristiano Ronaldo Legacy. I just found a few online mentions of it on other YouTube review channels and they were mainly positive, but I would generally say that this is a fragrance that is very under the radar and very underappreciated. So let's dive into the ratings of Cristiano Ronaldo Legacy. So first off, my rating. What do I think personally of Cristiano Ronaldo Legacy? As I mentioned before, I was so positively surprised by this fragrance. Fresh yet distinctively manly. Not overly aggressive or harsh, but just a subtle, very nice fragrance. I do rank this really high in my collection, and I give it a smell rating of 8.5. Next on to girlfriend's rating. I asked her about it, and she also fell in love with it from the first sniff of it. She didn't have any other opinions uh, of it than those I mentioned before. She said it's fresh and masculine, and very very nice to smell. She really liked it a lot, and she also gave it an 8.5 in smell rating. Next up is the strength rating, and this is not a projection monster in any way, or a beast mode longevity fragrance. This is a subtle, fresh fragrance that usually lasts about 5-6 to six hours on my skin. 
with moderate projection for about two to three hours. You won't disturb anyone wearing this fragrance, but you will smell really good to them once they get pretty close to you. So just overall, I think it's a decent strength on this fragrance, especially considering the price tag it comes with, and I give it a strength rating of five. So how about versatility? This is a really versatile fragrance that is especially well suited for situations when you are close to other people, like in school or in office, in church, if you're going to watch a movie in the cinema. You won't disturb any people when wearing this one, but you will smell really good to them. Since it's a fresh fragrance, I would mainly suggest you use this one in uh, spring and summertime. And thanks to the lavender in this one, it's also very well suited for slightly dressed up occasions as well as casual use. So overall, just a very well-rounded and versatile fragrance, and I give it a versatility rating of 8. Lastly, we have the price rating, and you have to pay about 40 euros or 45 US dollars for a 100 ml bottle of Cristiano Ronaldo Legacy. So I would say that this one is certainly not the cheapest one on the market, but it's really, really affordable, especially considering how well it smells. This is one of those fragrances that I think uh, Dior could have put in a bottle and sold for double the price at least. So it's really good value for money for this fragrance and I give it a price rating of 8. So I don't think my verdict is a surprise to you. Would I recommend you guys watching this to buy this? I absolutely would. This is a hidden gem, a really good smelling fragrance that is really affordable. Just bear in mind that if you want a really strong fragrance, an aggressive one, like a 80s powerhouse fragrance, this is nothing like it. This is a subtle fragrance, but it's really good for what it is. A fragrance for daily wear that probably won't offend anybody. This is very much a dumb reach fragrance that you can reach for any time. You just want to smell good for a little while. So this is really a hidden gem, a really affordable one. And I certainly think that you should at least give this one a try and see for yourself what you think of it. But my strong recommendation is go ahead and get it. It's a really good and underestimated fragrance in my opinion. So that was all for this time from me, Tommy here at Nordic Fragrance. I hope you enjoyed the review. As always, if you want to support me and don't miss any future videos or top lists, just click the subscribe button. Please like and share this video also if you want to. You all have a great time and until we meet again, go frag yourselves.